Hello everyone. So today we are going to see longest nice substring. So this is asked in a bi-weekly contest in lead code. So I have tried a brute force algorithm during the contest and now I want to try something better than what I have submitted. So let's see the problem statement. So we are given an input of in a string and we have to return the longest nice substring. A substring is said to be nice every letter of alphabet that s contains it appears both in uppercase and lowercase so let's understand it with an example so here is the first example string given the longest nice substring can be a capital a a because this substring contains both small a and capital a you can't fix that y a z as one substring because there is no small y and there is no capital z in that substring for example if there is another string with small d and y small e and capital e in this case d d forms one nice substring and e e forms another nice substring because they both have both uppercase and lowercase letters but y cannot form or uh, will be in any other substring so we can return any of these as our output since both of them are of size 2 in case if the string is d capital d d and y e e then d e d will become the nicest substring because it is of length 3 instead e e is of length 2 in brute force i actually used an integer array ch to keep track of the occurrences of the character given in string s in its ASCII value or ASCII index. For example, ASCII of small a is going to be uh, 97 and ASCII of uh, big a is going to be 65 and it keeps increasing for capital B to 66 until it reaches 96 which is the index of Z, capital Z. And same way from 97 it starts small a and goes Till it reaches small z. So now by using this I have incremented the occurrence of a but that is at the index of 97 there will be 3 a's so at index of small a I have 3 a's and for index of y capital Y I have one y same way I recorded all the occurrences of the character and for and then I iterated every substring possible substring and check if it is nice or not if it is nice then it calculates the length of the substring if it is greater than the substring already present it fixes the new length and new substring for a result so how do you check it, whether it is nice or not so if for every substring it iterate each character and check whether its capital or lowercase or uppercase corresponding letter is present in the substring or not. So it is pretty straightforward algorithm but it's gonna take a big go of yen square time. So let's see this algorithm first before we move on to a better approach. Here is my brute force solution where I have a method is nicest. Every time I send a substring it is gonna uh, convert it to a character array and then increment its count in its ASCII index. So I have declared my uh, character array to size 128 because the maximum ASCII value of small z is going to be 128. So now I'm going to iterate all the characters in a given substring and if it is an uppercase character then I'm checking whether its lowercase character is present or not. If it is present, I would have iterated and incremented its value. So if it is not present, it straight away returns false. Else, if it is a lowercase letter, again it checks corresponding uppercase is present or not. If not, it finally returns false. If false is not returned and complete substring is iterated, then finally it is going to return true. So once it returns true, if it is true, it calculates the new sub length, substring's length and assign the new longest substring to the result finally we return the result so this is pretty simple so how do we approach it in a better way 
So we are going to approach this using divide and conquer. So how do we divide and conquer this problem? Starts with our character. I'm going to have a set which is going to hold all the characters present in the string. Why set? Because set will store only unique values and no duplicates. So in this case, I'm going to, my set is going to have capital Y, small a, small z, capital A, and that's it. We don't have, and we have a small y. So we have this six characters in my set, and I'm going to start iterating my string starts from y. And once I found, find my capital Y, I'm going to check whether my small y is present in the set or not. Yes, small y is present. So I'm just simply ignoring it and moving on to my next character. So why? Because we want to find the longest substring. As for us, it is nice and longest. We're going to skip and move to the next index to check whether we can make it further longer. So next, moving on to small a we're going to check whether corresponding capital a is present yes corresponding capital a is present so there are there is a chance that these characters can be in the nicest substring and moving on to our third character z we're going to check in our set whether small z is present or not no there is no corresponding lowercase letter only uppercase z is present in this case we cannot include this in our nice substring so what are we going to do? We are going to break the string by z. We are going to take y a and a a a y and check whether this alone forms a nice substring and this alone forms a nice substring because z cannot be included. We don't have a corresponding lowercase letter. So moving on to this y a, we are going to check first starting with y now our set for y a is going to have a capital y and a small a so we're going to check whether our capital y corresponding small y is present no it is not present so what are we going to do we are going to ignore this because we have left with only one a we cannot form a nicer substring of length one because it's supposed to have both lowercase and uppercase so it should be minimum of length two so we are going to move to our second substring. Here our second substring, we are going to have our set. Small a, capital A, and small y. So now starting from small a, whether capital A is present? Yes, it is present. So we are moving to next character, capital A. Whether small a is present? Yes, it is present. Again, moving on to small a, capital A is present. Moving on to small y, is there a capital Y present in this set? No, it is not present. So we are again breaking it here. So we found a new substring A, 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 so far, which is the longest and comes to our last character. We cannot e include that. So here it ends with small A, capital A, A. Since it repeats the process, that is, find a substring and add them to set and check, iterate and check whether its pair or its corresponding lower or upper cases present or not, we are gonna make it a recursive solution. So how does this recursive solution work? Our recursive solution is gonna start from the whole string y a z a a y and it is gonna iterate and check if any of the characters is not having its pair. So now if you iterate y a both of them having its pair and z is not having its pair. So from here, we're going to split it or divide it and call two other functions, which is substring of y a and substring of a a a y. So from here, it is going to check whether y has its pair or not. It is not having its pair. So it is not going to make a nice substring. So it is going to return null. And from here, if you check A, capital A, A have their pairs in the same, within the same string. Point to be noted is it should have within the substring, not from the main string. So we have both small A and capital A within the string, but Y is not 
having any other pair in this substring. So we are dividing it here. It is again going to call two other functions. That is a, a, a and finally y. So in this case, y is not going to return anything. It cannot form a substring since its length is less than 2. And the above function is going to return the string a, capital A, a. So, so far for this whole second half of the substring, it is going to return capital A, a, a because it also sends a null value comparing to both of them. A, a going to have the higher length. So, we are returning this. Here, y, a, both of them doesn't form a nice substring. So, it is going to return null value. So, out of these two, it is going to compare which is the longest. Obviously, a, a, a is longest and it is going to return this value as our output. This algorithm actually going to run in big O of n that is linear time. So, let's see how we are going to code it. So, yes. First, we're going to check basic condition if string dot length is less than 2, then it can't be a nice substring. So, we are going to return null. I'm going to declare my set which holds the characters in a subarray. Once that is done, I'm going to add all my characters to my set. And I'm going to loop in my string. So I'm going to check if my set contains the care at that index and its upper or lower case Then simply skip that character and move to our next character. So we got to know that a character doesn't have its corresponding lowercase or uppercase. Then that is the point where we have to split that into two substrings. So we are going to split that into two substrings. That is our substring one is going to be we are going to call the same function recursively for the substrings we're going to separate that from 0 index to whichever index we found there is no match and our substring 2 is going to be from i plus 1 from i plus 1 to the end of the string so it splits into two substring and call the same function again to get the desired uh, subst nice substring formed from those two substrings and finally return the substring which is of greater length. Finally we return. So let's run. Yes, our solution is accepted. If you want other problems from the same contest, you can check my channel for other problems. 
So if you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.